What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, today we're going golfing and I got these golf shoes for Christmas. Uh, I don't know if they fit or if they're a little big, but either way, I think we're just gonna go for it. Um, anyways, happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm not sure what this vlog's about, but you probably will by the title. And if I don't figure it out, well, you probably won't be watching this vlog. But anyways, let's get to the Tesla. Welcome back to the Tesla guys. She's looking good, looking good, nice and fully charged, okay. And by fully charged guys, I mean um I mean to that limit, right? So I don't I don't always go to 99% or 100%. We're going we're going right to that first like notch that we get. Anywho, welcome back to the Tesla, welcome back to the vlog. And today 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 I still don't know what we're gonna do, but we are gonna wash her, I'm pretty sure. Um after after I go golfing. We're gonna get a nice wash in, but either way, 227 miles of range. Uh, yeah, it drains a little bit after it stops charging overnight. So, anyways, yeah, let's 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 roll. Let's we gotta get to golf. It's early, 8:30. Not that early, but anyways, let's roll. We got Rolling Thunder currently coming down I-270 southbound to, I don't know what they take to go in, either the GW or maybe Clara Barton. You obviously have uh, traffic closures on on-ramps. Lots of backups over there for that on-ramps that Rolling Thunder can come through. Pretty wild. Oh wow, this is all stopped here too, so that Rolling Thunder can go through. Look at that backup on 270 south. Do not, well I guess it'll be too late by the time you guys see this video, but do not take 270 today. Uh, literally just dead stop traffic while they block 270 for all these motorcycles to come down. Whew, man, this is dead stops for miles, actually. It's pretty bad. Guys, it is still dead stopped on the other side of 270 going southbound. Do not, do not take 270 south. Even though it's gonna be too late by the time you see this video. It is interesting that there are some bikers actually stopped in the traffic right there that you can see. But wow, oh, finally clearing up right here. But still, my goodness. We got more police barricades right there so you can't take the off ramp. We got people up at the top here watching Rolling Thunder, same on this side. Sheesh. Down here, we got backups trying to get onto 270 South. Obviously the on ramps are all stopped. The on ramp on this side is also all backed up. You can see all these cars just sitting here. If if you are ever in the DC, Maryland area uh, for Memorial Day weekend, do not try to take 270 South on the morning of, I guess, Sunday. Soon, probably start at like 8, 8.30. I mean, it's just endless motorcycles coming and coming and coming. So 270 South between like 8 to 9 a.m., no bueno. Anybody else ever uh, get this, this error message? It's definitely uh, no bueno. It says car needs service, car may not restart. That's not good. Uh, this happens This happens too often, guys, far too often. Also, we got the uh, little red exclamation point on the center screen that's also no, up, oh, up, oh, they both went away. Hey, there we go. Now, obviously that error message is very unspecific and well, because of that, I, I, I don't know why it's doing it. Does, any, does anybody have any idea? Anybody, please, please comment below and let me know because I have no idea and I just want it I want it to either just not turn on so the service center will look at it. Because if I take it there right now, they're gonna be like, oh, there's nothing there. At least that's my understanding. I wonder if they could plug in and see the logs of it turning on and if it actually triggers something. All right, just finished with golf. We're at 187 miles, 34 miles today. So not looking too good. I took a little video on my cell phone because I didn't have my GoPro ready. I'm getting all these error messages. I have, I have shown them on the vlog before. It says car needs service, car may not restart. Then there was another one that said it's like system powering down, system voltage low, something like it was it it was not good. And then on on the way to golf, on the way home from golf, multiple times was the car er, car needs service, car may not restart. That error message was popping up over and over and over. Their system check. Car needs service, unable to start car. 
that's not good. And that's also not good. Hmm. Whoa, what? It would go away on its own, but then like 10 minutes later it would pop up again. No bueno, so I definitely need to uh, schedule a service appointment, get this looked at. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope it's something that they, that they can look at, even though the error message is gone right now. My car is absolutely filthy. If you come back here, I do a I do a quick check. See, I don't have the chrome anymore. So like with the matte gray, the matte gray is kind of hard to tell if it's dirty. But if you look down here, you can see how dirty this like Miami blue is. I think that's what this is called. But also, if you open the trunk, oh my gosh, that is just like a line of dirt. Oh, that's terrible. That, that's how you definitely know it's dirty. So let's, uh, quick wash. 08 Honda Accord. I mean, I can see my reflection in this paint, so that's not too bad for, what, an 11-year-old car at this point? I remember when my dad got this car and I was in high school. This was actually the first car I drove when I got my learner's permit. Yeah, that's how long ago that, wow, jeez. Oof. Anyways, yeah. It's a lot of fun at the time. So yeah, this was this was my first driving experience with my learner's permit. good but as you can see here that's the error message car needs service car may not restart as you can see up top here as well we get this little uh if you click that car needs service unable to start car car needs service car may, wait unable to start car that's the first time i saw this one so that's definitely not good this is kind of the moment of truth foot's going to go on the brake we do have pin to drive let's go over here ready allow i mean okay so performing system check please wait power reduced vehicle system shutting down that's no bueno car needs service car may not restart voltage supply too low unable to drive another system check we go oh my gosh we got even more error messages Oh gosh, guys. All right, so I hit the little button up there. Now we have four error messages. Car needs service, unable to start. Vol unable to drive, voltage supply too low. Power reduced, vehicle system shutting down. Car needs service, car may not restart. If I hit. Okay, it still comes up up there, but what's weird is, oh, nope, I actually can't put my car into drive. Yep, no reverse, no drive. Yep, we are officially stuck. My car's officially broken. It's also hot, real hot in here. So we're gonna get out, come back in a couple minutes, see if it's fixed. But guys, my car might be broken. This is this is no bueno. I know I preach that Teslas are incredible. They are. They're fantastic cars. Very fun, awesome. But when something like this happens, I, like I don't know how to fix it right now, right? Like these are the error messages I'm getting. I just have to call Tesla. They're gonna have to tell me. I don't know. Luckily, we're still under warranty. We are at 93,664 miles. We're getting close, but we're still there. I'm sweating because it is humid, hot, and like 90 degrees and even hotter in there. So, all right, we're gonna give it a minute, see if it'll actually start up, but we, we, we might be, uh, my car might be blocked and both of my parents' cars can knock it out of the driveway now because of that, so. This is no bueno. I'm gonna get some water because it's, it's sweltering out. It's sweltering. So what? Ah, got our glass of water closed. Ah, it's sweltering out here, but we're going back. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Tesla Tesla one more time because I think either way I gotta call Tesla Roadside Service, see what's going on. I mean, she's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but I mean we can't have this, right? If I can't film vlogs, what are we gonna do, guys? All right, I switched the narrow view, but I already noticed that I walked up to the car with my keys. It's not opening. Okay, I had to click the key. All right, so at least it opened. Always starts with this thing whenever I have that issue. Performing system check, please wait. Power reduced, okay. Vehicle system shutting down, yeah, that's no bueno, all right. So I put my phone on the brake and that still pops up. So, 
I went ahead and entered my PIN. If I hit allow, it says car needs service, unable to start car. If I try to put my car in reverse, it does not work. Drive does not work. Neutral does not work. Settings here, we're gonna try to do software. Uh, okay, well we can see what version we're on. Power off. Power off. Uh-oh. I might have locked myself in the car, but I hope not. E e uh, all right, foot on the brake. Anything? Nothing? Maybe? Okay, it oh, there we go. Okay, so at least it Let's keep this door open, just just in case. <laughs> Tussle roadside service, it is. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, can you touch that? Nice. Thank you for calling Tesla. For, for flat tires, lockouts, and non-drivable vehicles, press one. It might be me. For vehicle, your party's extension, press four. Going with one. If you have been in an accident, please hang up and contact no. emergency service. Please stay on the line for the next available specialist. Great, now we're on hold. Let's see what happens. Luckily I'm in my parents' driveway, so it's not, you know, it could be worse. It's All right, so I just did a system reset holding the two scroll wheels down, so that's coming back on. Obviously still have the error messages. And we've been on hold with Tesla for seven minutes and 42 seconds. I'm assuming they're just gonna tow me, but I don't really know. All right, still on hold. It's been a little over 10 minutes now. My foot on the brake, the windshield wipers come on. So that's quite peculiar. Ready? <laughs> uh, you can't make this stuff up, guys. You All right, we finally got them on the phone. I'm obviously on mute right now, but screen's still not coming on. There's about 160 miles left on the vehicle. Yeah. You should... The 12 volt battery is kind of low. Okay. Do you happen to have a USB plugged into your vehicle? Uh, I do. You? Okay. We just have to take note of that. Okay. Alrighty. So it does look like there might be some. It could be that your vehicle received a firmware and it just didn't update correctly because it does look like it should have. It should be fine to drive. I mean, the, the the only thing that I see is that the 12 volt might be low. Okay. Um. But I, it shouldn't render the car undrivable. I do see that you received a firmware update on the 19th. I just note that in here. So the best option right now would be to have the vehicle take it into service. Looks like the closest service center is going to be Rockville. Okay. Uh, you said it's in the driveway, correct? Yes. And is it flat, incline, decline, or is it under a carport? Uh, slight decline. Slight decline. Okay. Yeah. I do see that the vehicle is still under warranty, so the tow would be covered. Okay. And then if we do find this warrant, well, that'll be covered as well. Okay. Oh, looks like we're getting towed. Is the under warranty. vehicle in the driveway nose in or nose out? Uh, nose out. Okay. Is it anything they find wrong is covered under warranty, obviously. Um, and I also, I'm going to ask if they don't say anything, but I believe I get a rental car for free because it's under warranty and obviously it's not like I crashed the car and I'm getting it fixed. It's something that's covered under warranty. So I believe the rental car is covered okay. as well. We'll take that our closed today. However, they will be able to um, diagnose the car tomorrow because they will be open. Okay. Um, I can set you up with a rental vehicle through Enterprise. I don't know what their hours are tomorrow, okay. but I can pretty much guarantee that they're closed today. <sighs> Classic. Classic. Of course, is what happened. Uh, well, at least it makes for a good vlog, I guess. Kind of. I don't know. All right. Well, they're probably gonna have to drag the car onto the tow truck, which makes me cringe, and I don't know how bad that is for the car. Fan, fantastic. So, she's uh, she's completely immobile right now. And we got this text from Tesla. It does say that. Uh, Yes, there is a towing company coming in 90 minutes or less. 90 minutes, guys. 90 minutes or less. So luckily, I actually know the people who uh, own the towing company. About a year ago this time, this same thing happened to my car. 
uh, except I was parked on that side spot. So we just got the call. Uh, my buddy who works at the towing company, actually, he's on his way. He's about 15, 20 minutes out. But obviously no nicks or dings in the car. Yeah, unfortunately, she's getting towed, guys. She's getting towed. So it's going to go to Tesla Rockville Service Center. Um, I probably won't get a call from them until tomorrow. They're closed today, obviously. Um, thank goodness they're open tomorrow. We'll see what they say. I really don't know what the issue is. They're saying the 12 volt battery looks a little low, but that shouldn't impact starting the car. So that's why that's a little strange. I don't know what else it is. I am no electrician, mechanic, mechanic electrician. I don't know what they are. Either way, tow truck's coming. So, all right, he made it. Hopefully, he doesn't hit my car though. Oh god. Air ride suspension like I do. Quick jump roo just to see if the screens will turn on because well I don't really want to drag it. It's on! We got a screen. Please, please. I don't know if this one will turn on, but because right now it still says car off. That goes into like uh, park reverse neutral drive yeah. when it's actually on, but it's been doing this. So I get it up. Yes. So what is uh what is I've actually never put it in tow mode. Do you know what it does? Does it just put it in neutral? Basically it just free rolls. Okay. Yeah. Go to service. Tow mode? Yeah. Told you. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh good thing I was on the brake. <laughs> We got into tow mode, I can't get it back out of tow mode, so it's a little bit of an issue, but at least this is good, we don't have to drag it. I just hope he doesn't hit my car backing up. Yeah. Alright. Uh-oh. This screen just went gray. So this is not good. And that just turned off. Yeah, just turned but we're in tow mode, I think. We'll go to the break. Yeah. yeah Alright, we're in tow mode, so we're golden. But, yeah. alright, so do the 12 volt battery might be dead. Yeah, do you have any steering? No. I got it all out. Alright, no power steering, but we got it out on the road in tow mode. Now we're just gonna roll it on up. Alright guys. Back to my days as a class B bus driver. This brings back memories. Nice and clean for the service center. That's right. I mean, she's looking good at least. there's some sort of anti-roll thing on these there's some sort of anti-roll mechanism so when you're on a hill these cars will automatically stop and we're trying to get it to roll off of the flatbed and regardless of whether or not the car's in bad shape or good shape it does this and will engage the brake because of some anti-roll thing so i guess that's a cool feature all right thanks so much dude i'll see you soon yeah. all right she's off Woo. Don't hit her, don't hit her. Kevin, thank you so much, Guy Towing. It's dropped off, but that's it. It's, it's, she's done. She's done. Bye. Well, she's, uh, she's broken for now. Don't really know what's gonna happen, but um, that's it. So, thanks for watching.